Last year, the Cincinnati Bearcats captivated the hearts and minds of college football fans everywhere by truly proving that a group of five school could really contend with the powerhouses in the college football landscape. I mean, they made it all the way to the college football playoffs before they ran into the boogeyman. However, I think there's another AAC team who could become next year's Cincinnati. What's poppin' everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day and welcome back to Shark Sports. And today I wanna break down why I believe that SMU could put together a similar run that Cincinnati did last year. Now SMU hasn't been a major talking point in the college football landscape since Eric Dickerson was there and all the scandals and you already know. However, quietly SMU was one of the best eight and four teams in the entire country and that record doesn't even truly show how good this team was. I mean, when you exclude the loss to Cincinnati, which, yeah, Cincinnati was just on another level. I mean, they had a first round quarterback, two first round corners. They, they were kind of stacked. But when you take that game out of the way, two out of their three losses came by only three points and the third loss was only by a touchdown and while yes smu did lose to cincinnati 48 to 14 cincinnati is going to be a shell of itself in my opinion next year because like i said they're losing pretty much all the talent that made them the dynamic team that they were they're pretty much losing all that talent to the nfl draft this year and the main reason why we don't see group of five teams consistently battling it out for those top bowl games is because their recruiting is just simply not as deep as it needs to be to constantly year after year be able to replace guys like a Desmond Ritter. However, that's where SMU can start changing things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting up here saying that, oh yeah, SMU is gonna now be as good at recruiting as Alabama. No, stop it. But what I am saying is that SMU is putting themselves in a great position to be bringing in a lot of talent from all across the country. But I mean, being in Texas, you already have a vast talent pool to choose from and they're also doing a phenomenal job with picking up guys in the transfer portal. I mean, they just picked up former Alabama running back Kamar Wheaton, who was the number one running back in his recruiting class. And you're not able to pull recruits of that caliber unless you're doing something right at the program. And one of the big things that SMU is doing right, which is where I see them really being able to take a step forward, is the fact that they have such a phenomenal NIL program for being a group of five school. SMU's NIL program, which is called Pony Up, is a group of former players and just other boosters and just people who support SMU football who have already agreed to donate over a million dollars annually to SMU's NIL program. Which might not sound like much when you hear about guys like Nico Iremalavella getting an eight million dollar NIL deal. However, for again, we're talking about for a group of five school, that is a lot of money. So let's start putting the pieces together a little bit. Okay, so SMU went out and had a really good eight and four year where, you know, their losses were very, very close and their wins were pretty, they were very, very solid wins. Okay, the one team that they really got to worry about, don't worry, I mean, Houston, yeah, you got to kind of worry about Houston as well in the AAC. But the number one team that you really got to worry about in Cincinnati is not going to be anywhere near as good as they were this past year. So, okay another potential win that you can get right there on top of that they have a very favorable schedule going into next year i mean their four toughest games versus tcu cincinnati houston and memphis are all at home which is phenomenal for i mean anytime you can get that home field advantage you should already know what's up and don't be surprised if smu is able to pull a couple more guys because if you guys don't know, SMU is pretty much in the heart of downtown Dallas. It's slightly outside of downtown Dallas by like 10 to 15 minutes maybe, but SMU is in a phenomenal area. A bunch of money is put into the school. I mean, they SMU's nickname is Southern Millionaires University, so phenomenal facilities. I mean, they got the drip. They got SMU is going to quietly be one of the best places to go if you want to go to a group of five school. And I want to hear from y'all. Yo, comment down below. Do you think that next year and you know, the relatively near future for SMU football, I think that SMU can have a, a quietly very dominant year next year, especially if they're able to do what they need to do and get those wins, especially at home. If they get that win versus Houston. If they get the win versus Cincinnati early on in the season and then you know as they start collecting some steam don't be surprised if smu goes on a run and finishes somewhere in the top 10 of the college football rankings simply because they're uh, they're undefeated 
all I'm saying is that SMU, they're setting themselves up to have a great future ahead of themselves. But like I said, comment down below, what do you guys think of SMU's most recent moves? What do you guys think of their NIL deal? How do you, how are you guys reaction to Kamar Wheaton going to SMU? That's a huge pickup for them. And just let me know your overall thoughts about SMU football. Alrighty, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure this video a like and also comment down below any other teams that you want me to cover or just any other college football topics that you guys want me to take a look at. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.